is a block of the day from February 21st. It's, it's number 0221 called Stepping Geese, and it's 12-inch finished block. You can scan this code to see the video of this block, how to make the block. And I'll have a link in the description below the video. So this is the block. It has 12 flying geese units in it. It has a square and a rectangle. And I'm going to show you how to find out how much fabric you need for the flying geese and for the squares and rectangles. The method I'm going to show you is called the no waste or flying geese four at a time. And at the end of this discussion of fabric requirements, you'll see my tutorial on how to use this method. Also, I'm going to show you how to calculate if you use the AccuQuilt cutting system. So I have this block. This is actually four blocks put together of this block. And I want to make four sets of these four. So I want to make 16 blocks, set them like this, and I'll have one here, another here, and then two at the bottom. So a total of 16 blocks. 12 flying geese times 16 blocks is 192 flying geese. And I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. I have a new app that I just posted to the quilt calculator. And I also have a different blog. I'm put, putting only the quilt calculators on it. If you go to the quilt calculator, it will take you to this page of the blog. And I will have all of the, eventually have all of the apps or the calculators listed on here. Right now we have the size of quilt app that you've probably seen before. And out of that, I took just the squares and rectangles. If you have squares or rectangles, you'll use this app to figure out how much fabric you need. Here are the half square triangles, and this will give you two at a time and eight at a time method to make the half square triangles. You enter the triangle finish size and how many you need. Now the newest one is called the flying geese four at a time. So if you click on this, it will take you to the flying geese calculator. And I'll have a little more information in here later. To make these calculations, all you need is the finished size, and you'll choose which one you want on here. I'm going to choose two by four inch finished size because that's what I need for this block. And then we'll put the number of flying geese needed, and it is 192. Put that in there and then press the calculate button. And here are your results. The sky fabric, you'll cut 14 strips at 2.875, which is 2 and 7 eighths inches times the width of fabric. And you'll cut 192 squares at 2.875 inches, or 2 and 7 eighths inches. The fabric you need is 41 inches, or 1.14 yards. And remember, like all the other calculations, this is the exact amount you need so you'll want to get a little more to allow for shrinkage and any errors or you'll just want to have a little extra fabric. So this was the sky fabric and here is the geese fabric. For the geese fabric you'll need 37 inches or 1.03 yards so just a little over one yard of fabric. And then you can use your four at a time method to piece all of your 192 flying geese. If you wanted to do this is the total amount of fabric you need. So if you wanted to separate seven, eight, whatever different fabrics, then you just divide the this 14 strips by the number of fabrics you have and you'll cut that many strips to get your different flying geese units. Or also if you want to make them totally scrappy, all you need to do is cut an assorted 192 squares at this size and then that will be totally scrappy. And the same thing for the geese, just cut 48 squares at this size, 5.25, 5 and a quarter inches. Now what if you wanted to use your AccuQuilt cutting system? So for the flying geese, you have quarter square triangles and you have half square triangles. These are, when you put one piece of fabric on here, this is 6 inches by 6 inches, you'll get four of the geese units. If you put one piece of fabric on here, you'll get two of the sky units. So to make four flying geese, you'll need to cut one like this, and you'll need to cut four like this. 
but you don't even have to worry about calculating that because when you use the flying geese four at a time method you're cutting one large square and four small squares just like this so what you can do since you want to cut these a little bit larger for your accu quilt I would go to you can use your same amount of squares for the sky fabric you'll cut 192 squares and that means this is the sky fabric you will cut 192 squares to cover this so when you cut that you will have two half square triangles so you can use that number there and it would be the same number 48 for this big square that you can cut four quarter square triangles or the geese portion at one time you'll have four this is flipping. so if you want to cut it larger and you want to know more about the fabric requirements I would go up here and maybe choose let's choose the next largest size the two and a half by five inch finished and calculate that so if we look at the sky fabric it says to cut 17 strips at 3.75 inches and that's 3 and 3 8 inches so let's look at our half square triangle and I've already measured these so it's 3 inches across and 3.7 inches down so if you were making a square it would have to be 3.75 but you don't have to do that with the accu quilt so you compare this 3.75 to the 3.375 and it's pretty close so let's just go up to the next size is 3 by 6 and calculate again and now you see we'll cut 3 and 7 8 inches and that's much closer to this size so I would use these fabrics so you would need 74 inches for the sky fabric and 66 inches for the geese fabric and also with AccuQuilt you can any die you have if you draw your lines like this and I always draw a quarter inch away from each blade then I measure the total and this was a little bit under six inches so this would be a six inch square and if I wanted to I could go to one of the other calculators if you press the quilt calculators it'll take you back to the home page and I can go to the squares and rectangles app so we'll press on that click on that now this we just enter the lengthwise and crosswise grains just like that so if we look at our this die and it's six by six so in here you would put six on the lengthwise and six on the crosswise and we need for this we'll have to take our 192 that we need and divide it by four because for each square you get four geese units and that is 48 pieces so we'll put 48 in here and now it gives you the results of the fabric so you'll need seven strips at six inches times the width of fabric and you cut each into seven segments of six inches for 48 pieces so it's 42 inches or 1.17 yards and that's about what we got for the other one you know it's not an exact science but you it's really close to what you need and you can do the same thing for the triangles for this one you would need 192 of these rectangles three inches by three and three quarter inches and this is the lengthwise grain and for each flying geese unit you have two of these half square triangle pieces one on each side this is the sky portion so we'll have to calculate 192 pieces and the crosswise grain is 3 and the lengthwise grain is 3.75 so let's do that so let's do lengthwise is 3.75 3.75 and the crosswise grain is 3 inches and then we need 192 and then it gives us our our fabric requirements 14 strips at 3.75 inches subcut each into 14 segments of 3 inches for a total of 192 pieces and that's 53 inches or about one and a half yards
So now you have two different ways you can find the fabric requirements for your flying geese. And you can put any number in there you need, any, just about any size you need. To finish the fabric requirements for this quilt, my 16 block quilt, we'll need to calculate the fabric for patch A and patch B, which is a rectangle and a square. Over here it tells you the size. So for patch A, you cut four and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and for patch B, it's a four and a half inch square. For that, we will still use our squares and rectangles calculator, and we'll just put those numbers in. So let's go for patch A, it's four and a half by eight and a half, and we're going to put eight and a half on the lengthwise grain. So we put 8.5, and the crosswise grain will be four and a half. And since we're doing 16 blocks and there's one patch in each block, this tells you here that this is one patch in each block and this one as well. So A and B, both one patch per block. We have 16 blocks, so let's put 16 for number needed. And then it calculates the fabric we need. So we'll cut two strips at eight and a half inches then subcut it into nine segments. And then the fabric we need is 17 inches or approximately 0.47 yards. So about a half a yard for the A patch. Now let's put the B patch in there and it's four and a half inch square. So we'll change the eight and a half to four and a half. And the, the crosswise is still four and a half and the number needed is still 16. And the this one automatically makes the new calculations. We have two strips at four and a half for a total of 16 pieces and the fabric needed is nine inches. So the, for the first one we needed, what was that, a half a yard? and you add nine, nine inches. So about 27 inches or three quarter yards are to a yard of fabric for this background fabric. And that, that would be if, this, if you wanted to make the sky the same fabric, you would add the sky fabric together to the A and B fabric. And now stay tuned for a short tutorial on flying geese four at a time. For flying geese four at a time, you need one large square and four small squares. The large square is the geese part of the flying geese and the small squares are the sky part of the flying geese. On the back of each of the small squares draw a diagonal line. Place two of the small squares like this on the large square, right sides together you line up these edges and make sure these lines line up. Then you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch on both sides of that drawn line. Here are the two stitching lines on either side of the marked line and now we cut it in half on the marked line. Now you'll open these up and press your seams open on both sides. Cut off the nubs. Now you'll place another square in this corner, here's your diagonal line, and stitch on either side of the diagonal line. And do that for both of these. When you're stitching, your stitches should come out or start right at this point, this intersection here, this 90 degree angle. Cut this in half on the diagonal line, and you have these two. Press your seams open and cut off your nubs. And do the same for this one for flying geese and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.